welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline for those of you who don't know. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to talk about how to become a model and give some general tips and advice. I'm going to reiterate throughout this whole video that it is so, so important to be yourself and I'll tell you why. So let's get started. If you're the type of person who just really enjoys being on camera, getting your picture taken, talking on camera, or just being videotaped, that sounded weird, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Overall, it's just natural for you to be on camera, then I would definitely recommend going down the modeling route. It's something that you should definitely try, and it's a lot of fun, and you'll meet some really great people in the industry. I started modeling when I was around 18 years old. I found this website called Model Mayhem. I met some really great people. I started networking. I eventually made it to Boston and I started booking some gigs here and there. I was signed to an agency but they actually only booked me one gig. Everything else I found on my own and eventually I figured out that I needed to move to New York since Boston was more so a part-time market and obviously New York City or LA has a bigger market for modeling and acting so about two and a half years ago I moved here and here we are. Once you decide that you want to start modeling, the first and most important thing that you're going to need to have are your digitals. Digitals, also known as Polaroids, are a really, really great way for agencies or clients to see what you look like naturally. Whether you're signed or a freelance model, you are going to need to have digitals no matter what. You can take your digitals on your phone. You don't necessarily need to hire a photographer. It's completely up to you if that's what you want to do, but a lot of phones now have really great cameras, so you can just do it at the comfort of your own home. When you take your digitals, you're going to need to wear form-fitted clothing, so black jeans or denim jeans, and a tank top or just any other type of top that shows what you know your upper body looks like this is a really great way for clients or agencies to see the shape of your body also it's recommended to wear heels as well when you're taking your digitals make sure to have a clear background so no paintings no photos no couch absolutely nothing that distracts away from you um, it doesn't have to be a white background just as long as there's nothing going on around. You also need to make sure that you take your pictures in natural daylight. You can't wear any makeup, maybe a little bit of concealer under the eyes, but nothing else, no dramatic makeup or anything like that. They want to see the real natural you. Once you're ready to get your digitals taken, you need to have a headshot full body shot, three quarter shot on the left and right side, and a profile shot for left and right sides. I definitely recommend updating your digitals every six months, especially if you get a drastically different look, you need to update your digitals immediately. Whether it's getting a haircut, a drastic haircut, visible piercings or visible tattoos, you need to update your digitals immediately when you do that. Whether you're a signed model or a freelance model, if you get notified to send in a self-tape or photos, you should definitely send everything in as soon as possible. I highly recommend it. Sometimes clients will look for people the night before or day or two in advance. Um, sometimes you'll have a deadline, so you might have a little bit of time to practice or do whatever you need to do. But I definitely recommend submitting as soon as possible because you have to remember that the modeling industry is a business, so just be ready. My next tip is to have a diverse portfolio. It's good to have beauty, editorial, glam, print photos, and maybe even a commercial reel because it can show clients that you're comfortable in different roles, that you're comfortable on camera, and that you're comfortable selling the product. Because as models, that's what we do. We help sell the product. It's good to have a diverse portfolio as well because if a client is looking for a specific look, 
Say for example, they are looking for a woman who is between 18 to 28 years old. She's happy, go lucky. So you would want to submit your print photos, you know, where you're smiling, you're happy because you're not gonna wanna be sending in like an editorial or a glam photo because that just really wouldn't fit the look that the client is looking for. If you've made it this far, getting your digitals taken, um, submitting to agencies, booking some gigs here and there, it is highly recommended that you have a social media account, for example, Instagram, showcasing your modeling photos. You don't have to make your account only modeling. You can obviously you know, take some of your own natural pictures, whether it's of your cat or going on a hiking trip. Just make sure that your account is true to you. It's, you're not copying someone else. And you also don't need to have a bunch of followers. You just never know who's looking at your Instagram or if a client is asking for your Instagram and they book you. I got booked for a Macy's campaign just based off my Instagram and I really wasn't expecting that, but it was awesome. So just make sure that your Instagram is true to you. For this next one, I still have a hard time dealing with rejection. I'm still learning how to handle rejection, but don't take it personal. Sometimes you just might not have the look that they're going for, and that is totally okay. If you can, maybe you can get some feedback from the client and ask them, you know, what could I have done better? You might not get any feedback at all because they have a bunch of people that they have to respond to, but it doesn't hurt. You could practice speaking better on camera, practice posing, learning how to calm yourself down so you're not so nervous, but just remember to keep being yourself because sometimes clients, they just wanna see and hear the real you. So just keep being yourself, don't take it personal, and smile. This one is a humongous one for me. Please, 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 please be careful who you work with, whether you're signed or an unsigned model. Look up who you're working with. I don't care who it is. They could be a really great company. They could be a really great photographer. They could still be major, major creeps. It doesn't matter. If you get kind of weird vibes, just cancel the shoot like just don't do it like or tell your agent I'm not sure I'm very comfortable working with this person once you're there maybe you don't feel comfortable reach out to your agent and tell them what's going on if you don't want to do something don't do it another thing that I absolutely recommend doing whether it's going to a casting audition photo shoot or commercial shoot is to make sure that you share your location with your loved ones and not just because maybe the person is a creep but maybe there's an emergency i would want my loved ones to know where i am from what time i will be there till and, and yeah i just want them to know everything because you just never know life happens so this next part of the video is going to be about why it is so important to be yourself and to take care of yourself in the modeling industry. So the first thing that you want to do is to just take care of yourself. So taking care of your skin, eat what makes you feel satisfied. I used to think that I had to eat salads every single day and I absolutely hated it. And I had a really bad relationship with food for a while. I was counting calories like crazy and I just, it was just really bad for me mentally and now I'm eating what makes me happy, eating what makes me feel good, eating what I want to eat because I crave it and just, I have a better relationship with food now. So don't feel like you have to eat like a bird. <laughs> Be active in what you enjoy doing. So you don't have to go to the gym like four or five times a week if that's not your thing. You can, you know, do CrossFit, yoga, dancing, Zumba, roller skating, whatever it is that you enjoy doing just to keep yourself active, do it. I highly recommend focusing on hobbies that make you happy. You're not gonna be modeling 24 seven, but I highly recommend finding a hobby that makes you happy, whether, you know, it's kickboxing, uh, collecting Funko Pops, DJing, painting, taking care of plants, coloring, 
I say fo focus on a hobby because one, it makes you happy, it's good for your mental health, and three, you never know when a client is looking for someone who partakes in your hobby or who has your particular skill set. Clients now are looking for people of all kinds. So whether you're the type of person who's you know in a wheelchair and you love to play basketball and they want you to talk about it on camera, that's really great because when you start talking about it, you're gonna light up and it's going to come natural for you to talk about it on camera. So just be ready. My next tip on being yourself is that it never ever hurts to have your own little photo shoot that reflects your own personal sense of style. For the last two and a half years that I've been here, I've seen a lot of castings where clients are looking for someone who has unique features or they have a unique sense of style. This is perfect for the type of person who doesn't like to follow trends or like trends on TikTok or Instagram because we all know that these fashion trends come and go within like six months, but your own unique sense of style doesn't. My next and final tip is to please just be yourself. Don't feel the need to copy someone else or to feel like you need to lose or gain weight or you need to follow a particular trend in order to just feel like you fit in or to get more bookings. That is not the case. You're gonna be tired of feeling like you have to copy someone else. Just be yourself on camera, on social media, Someone is going to like you for who you are and it's really corny, but it's it's a thousand percent true So just be yourself. So I'm going to end the video here I really hope this video helps if you have any more questions if you've made it this far, please let me know I really hope that all of these tips will help you get your modeling career started and yeah, I wish you guys the best of luck. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.